Hello all you YouTubers, Freddy Jenkins here, and I just wanted to let you know, uh, if you're watching this episode right now, that means I didn't make it. If I didn't, then who knows, maybe next time will be my last episode, I don't know. But anyway, um, uh, this may be my close to last episode, I don't know. Um, but my cousin's coming over, and he's gonna redo the show, and this may be my last episode, I don't know, um, I think there may be another episode, I'm not sure, anyway, if there is, it's gonna be The Shining review, I'm gonna review The Shining, okay, and tonight's episode is good actors with terrible movies. Now, there's plenty of good actors, okay? Don't get me wrong. There's lots of good actors, but some of the roles they have aren't that good for them. And you wonder, what the hell? What's he doing in that crappy film, you know? And first one I'm going to talk about is Will Smith. Yeah, he's got a couple of them, like After Earth and... I guess, um... I, Robot was terrible, um, I Am Legend was okay, but it really, I, I don't know, I wasn't a fan of it, but After Earth was not good, it wasn't well scripted, the director, I don't know what the hell he was thinking about making the terrible CGI effects and all that, mm, overall, good acting, but poor script, poor way of planned out, it's, just not good. I Am Legend, it had its moments where it was good, as I was saying. Um, I liked the, I liked the monsters, they were cool. Um, I liked the story, I guess, but there was something about it that was kind of missing and lacking, I guess. Um, I don't know what it is for sure, but yeah, there's definitely something missing about it that isn't that makes it not such a good movie to watch and but anyway yeah and I Robot it had a decent storyline but the effects weren't that good and I didn't really care for Sheila Wolf. I don't know what he's doing in the film industry in the first place but whatever um it like I said it had a good script I like the script but I don't know Poor Will Smith is in this film, and it just sucks, you know? Not him, but the thing wasn't too well thought out of. Anyway, moving on to John Travolta. Now, John Travolta is great. Uh, great in Face Off and Punisher, Grease, all that. He's been good in many films. But there are some that aren't so well done out, like... um. Battlefield Earth, I think it was called. He was an alien or something. I don't know what the hell he was thinking about being in that film. I don't know. The story just sucked. Oh my god, I don't I don't even remember it, to be honest. I don't remember it, but I remember the effects were not good. John Travolta was the only highlight for me. Forrest Whitaker's in it again, and I can't stand him at all. I don't know why he even bothers being called an actor. And Pulp Fiction was alright, but the story wasn't done out too well. Um, It wasn't edited, I thought, very good. And the main thing about Pulp Fiction that I really like is it had lots of good actors, like... Uma Thurman, Peter Green, Ving Rhames, Bruce Willis, John Travolta, Samuel Jackson, lots of them. But the story wasn't that good, and the characters weren't really well developed, I thought. Like, eh, I just didn't really get it, and overall, uh, it wasn't one of John Travolta's best. Although it did have good action and all that, I admit that, but it just wasn't all that good. Moving on. Okay, you're going to laugh at this. Everybody in Batman Forever. Yeah, everybody in that film had...
decent films. Like, Tommy Lee Jones was great in Men in Black, Double Jeopardy, and all that. But what was he doing in Batman Forever as Two-Face? That movie is like an insult. It's an insult. It's an insult to even be called a Batman film, okay? I mean, sure, it is funny sometimes, but it's a guilty pleasure of mine. Uh, I sort of like it, but I sort of don't, because it does not fit and shouldn't even be qualified as a Batman film. And Jim Carrey was awesome. I liked him. He was funny. Um, but the Riddler is not supposed to be funny. He really isn't. He's supposed to be like a serious... um. Brainiac, he knows everything basically. And Nicole Kidman was awesome in it. I thought she was hot. Um I don't remember her ever being in a film that I saw again. I I j every time I think of her as an actress, Batman Forever is the only one I can think of. To be honest, I I've never seen her in another film. This film's probably why. That's why. Um Val Kilmer is a great actor like Tombstone. That movie kicks ass, it really does, and he's a great actor in that film, uh, but Batman, oh my god, what was he thinking of being in that film? Jeez, Chris O'Donnell was okay, he has some shitty films, some good, and Vertical Limit I thought was okay, but I don't know, hmm. Bill Paxton was great in Vertical Limit, not Chris O'Donnell so much. I don't really care for that film because of his character, but I don't know. Vertical Limit was, Bill Paxton was the only highlight for me. He was the only one I actually really cared about because his character had, you know, depth to it, and he makes a great badass, I say. Just like him killing this guy's wife or something, I don't know, stealing her money, or medicine, and then the guy kills him or something, I don't know. I don't remember that film too much either, but I remember it not being so good. And Chris O'Donnell is great in the, what was that show called? He was a cop and LL Cool J something, I don't remember, but... Give me a heads up on what it is, because I can't really think right now. Hmm. And then, anyway, moving on to Michael J. Fox. Like, he's a great actor, okay? Um, I don't see what he's doing in that TV show. It's basically making fun of him. Like, there was this scene, the guy says, Here, sign this for my dad. And he says he has Alzheimer's. And then Michael J. Fox says, I have Parkinson's. And he goes, eh, doesn't matter. What the hell kind of joke is that? That's not funny. That's sad. You should be sad for Michael J. Fox. Um, I feel really bad about him, man. But anyway, yeah. The Frighteners was another one I didn't care for, but... It had a cool storyline, but the effects and the story was lacking something. You know, like... The creature that was coming after them and killing them, I thought could have been done out better, I guess. The effects weren't too good, but what do you expect for the time? Overall, I like Michael J. Fox as an actor. He's great, and Teen Wolf, Back to the Future, need I say more? Anyway, then we're moving on to Daredevil. Now, Joe Pantoliano, uh, I think he was the detective, but He's a great actor. I liked him in The Matrix and all that, and I don't even know if he was in the film, but anyway, that movie sucked. It ruined Daredevil for me. Okay, moving on. Next is Jack and Jill. Come on. Adam Sandler's a great actor. What is he doing in this shit fest? Jack and Jill. It's not even funny. It's just... Ugh. You know? Oh my god, I... Mm -hmm. Poor Al Pacino, too. He was, like, the guy that was in love with the sister or something. And, my God, this film sucks so bad. Anyway, then there's Usual Suspects. I did not really care for that film because I guess the characters weren't really well developed. I did, like, some of the storyline. The thought of the ending was pretty awesome. Eh. 
it, it needed something else, though. Um, and Benicio Del Toro was the biggest highlight for me. He was the only one I actually cared to see, you know? Him and Peter Green, who was only in it for like five seconds, five minutes, somewhere like that. And... I don't know, there was something about that film that was lacking, and don't get me wrong, it was an okay film, but it was lacking a little bit. I don't know what it was lacking, it just seemed like the story drifted at the end, you know? And then there's um, John Hurd and Sharknado. Come on, Sharknado is a horrible film, it's not funny, the CGI is terrible, the story is terrible, and the only reason I saw it was because we had Netflix, and I just decided to watch it for, like, what the hell, you know, and John Hurd was in it, and I'm like, cool, the dad from Home Alone, and yeah, he's a good actor, I guess, and I've seen him in quite a couple things, like Chud, The Package, Home Alone, yeah, you get it, and I'm very disappointed in Sharknado, what the hell were they thinking? And then they made a sequel. Who makes these? Honestly. And then moving on. Another shark film that is terrible. It stars Eric Roberts. And Eric Roberts, I love. He's awesome. I mean, I've seen him in quite a few things. Like Best of the Best. Um, Hitman's Run. Uh, Odyssey. You know, Odysseus. All that. Yeah, he's a good actor, I say. Um, people tend to, like, shit on him. I don't know. If I heard he was disrespectful or something. I don't know. I, I, I can't. I just, mm, whatever. And Sharktopus was horrible. Ugh. Come on. Are you serious? It's not even real? It's just a machine that they use for war? Eh, whatever. It's just stupid. It just sucks. Anyway, moving on. Next is Michael Bean, and he's a good actor, but he has some movies that are terrible, like B. Raymond. B. Raymond was horrible. I have it on my shelf. It just, I don't know what to do with it now that I've seen it. I'm, I just, I just bought it for Michael Bean. That was it. Um, I liked him in Terminator, and Aliens. He's a great actor. Very underrated though, and. Then there was this other movie I saw called Omega Omega Code 2, I think? Megiddo or something? I don't remember the title, but it was about his brother being like Satan or something, and uh, Michael York's in it too, and he's awesome, but uh, just can't make up for the film. It just sucks, you know? Moving on. Rap Snyder and Deuce Bigelow 2, European Jiggle. Yeah, I, I just had to say that one because the movie is so horrible. It It's a sequel. It should be forgiven, you know, just shoved to the side like, oh, that doesn't even exist. Just the first one, but come on. Who the hell makes a sequel to Deuce Bigelow? It, it ruins the ending of the original. I'm not going to say what because I don't want to spoil it for you, but you'll you'll catch my picture. And it just ruins the ending. Moving on, Johnny Depp and Sweeney Todd, Alice in Wonderland, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, Johnny Depp is a great actor, but some of the stuff he's been doing sucks nowadays. I know with that remake of, he was an Indian, I forgot what the hell it's called, but anyway, yeah. Sweeney Todd is horrible. It's just flat out terrible, I'm not going to say why, because it just sucks. Alice in Wonderland, everybody saw it and they all know it sucks. Even the remake of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you all know it sucks. Moving on. Robin Williams and Bicentennial Man. Yeah. You can keep that one. I'm not even going to talk about it. Moving on. Jack Nicholson. This will be the last one for now. And Jack Nicholson is great. He has great performances. He does well. But The Shining... The only reason you watch it is for Jack Nicholson. Okay, the story is boring, it's long, drawn out, and it just sucks. Well, you guys, I better end it here because I'm almost up to 15 minutes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I may die in the next episode, and I'll review The Shine next time. And Peace out, everybody!